I thought I'd give my initial impressions of Destiny, probably also known as Loading Screens the Game. As it stands, to be honest, I'm not massively impressed with it. Uh, I didn't play the alpha There's or the got beta to be a way to find out or whatever what the they're supposed planet. to be called. That ghost um, we recovered found a library just didn't really in the fortress me. called the World's Grave. It I said to hold everything they know of games, so if you can kind get of my down genre, there, I'll uh, which is a bit weird can. for me not to be interested. I just didn't see anything appealing in Destiny. It's not as bad as it it looked, but I mean, my first impressions, considering Halo is one of my favourite series of all time, my initial impression of this game is it's pretty bad. The world's grave is deep in the um, fortress, but according to the ghost to begin, we really, found. There's an ancient Obviously, it's an Dexter. online game. I can so lead us people to around you all the time. You'll have to face it to find the grave. Whatsoever that they're there, from what I've seen. Sometimes it looks cool. Generally, it's essentially whatever. The best thing in the game is these wires. Some on the moon, you can probably tell because there's normal gravity and there's normal sound. So they haven't even bothered to try and make the moon sound different or look different. So it might as well just be a different background. As you go around these, they're like not hub worlds, these ones as well. Oops, no, no. They're kind of weird to explain. They're like little environments where you can go and do missions. And then you have like actual quests on those things. The combat's pretty fun. It's like Halo, but not a very good version of Halo. So like if someone had ripped it off. The characters are just totally forgettable. I haven't even seen a single thing that is, is, is even remotely cool looking. I mean the guy I'm playing as Titan character does look pretty cool but then you have a helmet on for the whole game so everyone just looks the same. Um, I know you can unlock cloaks and stuff but I haven't done that because I've, I've played this for about I don't know four or five hours I think roughly around there. Um, obviously you get grenades like Halo but it, they've kind of changed They've kind of changed the way that it works. Um, it's still got that ridiculous aim that's not centre, which irritates the hell out of me because you have to walk around like looking up all the time, and you—I <laughs> don't—I don't know the reason behind that. It annoys me in Halo, but it's not a game breaker. Okay. Graphically, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you make of it, I mean, it's a bad looking game. It's not really a next gen, or what we should be calling a current gen game at all. The AI is pretty good. I'm impressed with the AI in general. Um, this guy's probably going to kill me, which is quite rare, actually. I think I've died once or twice. I've got close, so it, it, as far as the combat goes, it's quite well balanced. It is really difficult to aim in this because, for some reason, I didn't even know this. I probably wouldn't have even picked it up. But it is, it's a 30 frames a second game as a shooter, which is just, <laughs> just ridiculous. I, d I don't know who came up with that. Like You seriously can't tell me that the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox can't run this at 60 frames a second. It's just it's almost as if they haven't even tried. The hive really tore into the moon. Oh, this guy as well, this voiceover. You've basically got a little guy that follows you around called the Ghost, and he's voiced by the dwarf. Uh, Peter Dinklage out of Game of Thrones and it's the worst, the worst voiceover I have ever heard in anything ever. It's, he hasn't even phoned, phoned it in, he's just not even bothered. It, everything that he says it almost sounds as if he's completely confused about what he's saying. Like they just gave him a script that didn't tell him what the game was about and just said yeah just go with it and there was no one there to support him. So. They obviously lied about that when they said that they would fix it for the main game because I do remember hearing something uh, about the beta that he just sounded like a couple of months or he still sounds like a couple of months to me. I, I, I don't know what they've changed, if they have changed anything, but they have supposedly improved it and I don't know what the beta sounded like because this is horrifying. I am supercharged that comes up on your screen, you've got a bunch of abilities, LB and RB, the bumper buttons make you do one of those abilities, so if I get close, mine's like a melee attack to my character. The classes are pretty good, um, but you can get to do that. Shut up, shut up, shut up, um, this one's kind of like a tank, and then you've got one class that's basically like a mage, ver version of a mage, which 
I'm never really into it, I don't really like magic and stuff in games. Um, and then you fight these guys, acolytes, trolls and stuff, and they're basically just like, I don't know what they're supposed to be, they're just like the grunts of Halo. And then you get wizards and lots like that, which, from what I've seen, have been charging shields. Well, that guy looks like one of them. I really hate what they're called wizards. quite repetitive because you don't ever really feel truly really powerful so far so it's wet the shields down wait for respawning enemies guard the ghost who is just a character I do not care about at all because I mean, they couldn't be bothered to voice him properly so why am I supposed to be <laughs> emotionally involved with this dull sounding little shape Could have been a cool idea. Basically, a bad version of Claptrap. Borderlands. Everything about this game is just a bad version of Borderlands. Um, it's lost the unique art style. I mean, it's not a bad looking game in terms of art, but it's not Borderlands. If they just made Borderlands like an MMO, my god, it would be amazing. Um, the other thing that's a massive gripe is this. This is the menu screen. So, for some reason, using the d-pad or the control pad to select stuff is no longer appropriate in a game so instead I have to wait three and a half hours for this circle to move across and then I can pick from the different stuff that all looks exactly the same with different abilities etc etc uh, there's no point using that, I might as well just use it for I haven't actually, uh, I haven't actually seen any of these big events that I saw in this trailer where I'm looking at but some cool stuff that seems to go down. I've not seen a single one of those yet, which would be nice. And probably the most interesting thing I've seen this one is the, um, when you see other players having their own firefights, but it doesn't ever feel like it's really in an MMO. Um, no one does anything that really affects you apart from steal your kills, but I haven't actually figured out whether or not I can get the XP for the kill, even if they do it, or, or push the kill. Um, there's rarely that many people, even in the main hub world, I didn't really feel like anyone's doing anything important. It's just usual people standing at vendors and their instances. Um, it, it doesn't gain anything at all from being an online only game. It really doesn't. And I've got absolutely nothing against online only. I think that they're probably, you know, the way to go with a lot of stuff. And on the other hand, if this wasn't an online only game, then I think that it would be open to massive criticism. Because as far as the story goes, it, there is one. The characters are completely and utterly forgettable and uninteresting in, in every way. I really have only a limited idea of what I'm doing and from my graph of it. It's not exactly compelling. I mean, Halo got a bit confusing, but Halo got a bit interesting um, and a bit confusing. But at the end of the day, it was a poor cool story about you know, this, this very cool main character going on a mission. You don't feel like you're exploring anything in this. You don't actually travel in space. I'll show you the orbit screen when I finish this mission. It's basically a lobby. Hidden is a lobby. It might sound like I truly hate this game. I don't truly hate it. I'm not sure what it is that I particularly like about it. It's a solid shooter. It's nice to level up. It's nice to get stuff. Um, it's not overdone in the sense that I'm not being showered with loot like Borderlands, which is fun for a bit, and then you just... it's a bit overwhelming. Um, But at the same time, oh, this gun's awesome. I enjoy this. But yeah, at the same time, it's a solid shooter. It's decent to 
play. I imagine that when this gets reviewed by big publications, obviously with the faux embargo of we don't let you play it early, which they could have done, um, reducing the amount of the reviews you're actually going to see at the start. This I, I imagine they would still give it a degree. decent review. I, I don't think we'll they would want to fall out of giving it anything less than an 8 out of 10 if you're going to be that simplistic about it. I'd probably, if I was going to number this, I'd put it somewhere around 6 out of 10. It, it's maybe lower. It, it's, it's a strongly average game with high production values. Here are, here's a drop ship, enemies fall out of it, kill them all. To be fairly honest, this doesn't actually to me look any different than Halo 4 if you put it in 1080p. I'd be really interested to see what Halo 4 looks like when it comes out on the Xbox One, because I imagine it will look considerably better than this. If I want to change my weapon to my pistol, this is what I have to do. Menu. Slowly scroll. Pick that. B to go off there. Which obviously as an online game doesn't freeze. So you just get shot in the back by these guys. Some of the guns are getting significantly more fun now. This pistol's brilliant. I'm just looking for one more in line with my rank. Conquer the knights. Press weird squares for details. That is the ghost. Crazy kind of shape. Mission objective: kill this guy. I don't think I've had a different mission objective other than kill this guy. Don't get killed by this guy. Don't let him get killed by this person. Literally all that we've done. In the world. There's a dude in there I have to kill. Ran up the green. hits people high up, that's the special ability that I've got. You just jump in the air. What the hell is this? I'm not quite sure the damage actually represents exactly what the damage is. Oh my god, what the hell? Right, I never use this. I always save up extra weapons. Make a wall, so I do grenade. Take it. Oh, you would have been dead if I used my normal weapon. I know where we're headed. I have no idea how to sound like I do know where we're headed. Absolutely shocking. The jump mechanic's cool. Jump in the air twice. Fly off. Nobody got time for that. This should lead us right to the grave. So the I'm playing this. Um, Not if you ours. The oh my god, that's just so poor. Um, I'm, noticed, I'm playing this. If you noticed on the Xbox One, I've actually got it on the PlayStation Four as well. Um, I just went with the Xbox One because 
I mean, all the people that actually play online that I know in real life play Xbox One as opposed to PlayStation 4. I am, I leveled about two levels on the PlayStation 4, to be fairly honest. Absolutely no difference from what I can see, they just look exactly the same. I am, the only thing that I thought was different as well on the PlayStation 4 is I can't use that controller. It's absolutely horrible. Um, for a first person shooter, it's way. Darkness has consumed you. Okay, so what that is, is right if you go to into different areas, they have the this darkness there, which Not is basically. Ours. It's just a different area where you, you can't respawn, so it just helps the difficulty a little bit. I really wanted a grenade for those guys. If you die, you have to get the whole thing again. That shot. So obviously there's different content on the PlayStation 4. So I was given my copy by my mate. Um, so I'll keep it. I was initially going to trade it, um, but I'll keep it to see what the new content site. But for what I've read, it's just not really a big deal. I mean, Sony obviously treating this as if it's some kind of first-party game, but it just really isn't. And I just vastly prefer the Xbox One controller. Powerful as pistol. <laughs> it's is not difficult at all to aim on this because essentially all you have to do is kind of aim in the direction and auto aim will just pull your aim straight to them. That's it. There it is. That's it. There it is. Worst ever. What are they doing? Now, take this guy down, mate. There we are. Oh, beautiful headshot. I'm amazing. Oh, wonderful little elbow shot there. That's what I was going for. It's all in the head. I am so what that is, is it's an XP boost that you get for completing bounties. I couldn't quite figure out at first. I thought you had to pay to, to enter the bounties. Yeah. So, if you do play this when you're in the hub area, which is the tower, I think it's called. Go straight to the bounty guy and just set every bounty straight on. And then as you play through you just you just do stuff like as long as you're not a complete idiot, can you shoot them in the head? You, well yes of course you can because it's nearly impossible to miss. Um you get like extra XP for it. And you don't even have to go back to get your bounty. Oh, it's so annoying. So what I'm gonna have to do now is get absolutely hammered by monsters while he does that. Depending on how much you like it. Either a massive annoyance or a really great. Just great in every way. I think it's really annoying. It drags on for just that bit too long, most of these. I'm sure it's an absolute lack of really made and you have a nice little conversation. Um, unfortunately, my mates are just kind of one of my single player. So now I need to change my second piece so I've got. 
and I really need to change my set. Yeah, so I need to change our second dude. Yeah, so that I can use a shot on these guys at point blank range. But in order to do it, I have to go on the menu, which is absolutely shocker. Oh yeah, the punch is super powerful. Uh, you might want to just, when you first start, you go to the end of the the enemies and just smash them. Five bucks up. Two points. They've done something. I'm going to tell you about it in the most uninteresting way imaginable. Fusion. Supercharged. Supercharged. These guys are massive annoyance. Well, I'll just rush you like a kind of blood enemy, I guess. How, how would I do that? Um, they're like a... They're like a club, they just want to do that. They just want to do that. Come get some. Suck it down. Got it all. There is unbelievable stuff in here. Yeah. The high of the world taken by the darkness. And they've been seeding Earth for centuries, waiting for their gods to return. I'll warn the city. Let's get out of here. How can you how can you be that bad? I know this guy is an absolutely amazing actor because I've actually watched Game of Thrones. Absolute shit. Alright, then the mission ends. And then you go to your little screen and it tells you about all the wonderful stuff you've unlocked. Floor punch, super jump, you get some nice squares as the rewards. Oh, new trousers. It's an absolute game changer. Now what you get to do is watch a load screen. After holding down the button for ages just to check you didn't make a mistake for five minutes. Watch this with load screen. Here you go. Riveting. Absolutely riveting. Oh, I'm in space. Cool. Um, I could upgrade not going to do it now. I'm going to go to the destination. So I've unlocked two at the moment. So if I go back to the tower, you have to launch it. <sighs> and then enjoy this load screen as I am. Um, sit here, just wait, watch the moon in the distance. Yeah, great isn't it? Next gen load screens. Um, yeah, so overall impressions. <laughs> it could be a lot better. I mean, they could have got one thing and made one thing good, like made the combat good with a bit of multiplayer. Here we are, we're warping to Earth from the moon. Um, which is a great idea, because the moon's about five foot from the Earth. Yeah, they could have made at least one thing good, like made the combat really good. Instead, there's a bunch of solid stuff, um, pointless online interactivity, and other than that, it's not that great. I'll do proper... Oh, all the debris. I'll do proper feedback. I'll do a written review of this game, I think, later on, once I've played it for at least the entire story and maybe a few more hours. But at the moment, not too impressed with it. I wouldn't be too bothered if I didn't have this game tomorrow. I would not miss it. 